So 4th of July is Wednesday, a lot of barbecues taking place, probably a safe bet that we're going to overeat just a little yes. bit. Yes, so our friend Jillian is here to show us how we can maybe choose a safer alternate route that's yes. not going to blow us up. A healthier. A healthier. healthier. Yeah. us up. I, so I like be, that. Blow us up. Yes. Blow us up. So I'm going to teach you how to build a healthy plate for okay. your barbecue. So this is kind of the, the recipe right here, you guys. So make half oh. of your plate fruits and vegetables, half of your plate fruits and vegetables, about a quarter of it protein, and then the other quarter is either carbs or fats. Okay. So that's when you're visually preparing your plate, that's what you want to think. So for example, you can put salads, you can do usually a veggie tray, usually a fruit salad, mm -hmm. you can put that all on one side, okay. and then the protein would be like your burger patty, your hot dog patty, and then the carbs would either be the bun, if you want chips, if you want to have the potato salad, so you can still have what you enjoy, it's about portion control here. Portion control yes. is the biggest one. So that's I, the hardest part, I know, though, isn't it? It really is. So you have. That's why if you visually look at your plate, you know, you have the potato salad. You yeah, love it, but it. you see the pasta salad, but you already filled up your little carb ah, area. I like so that. you have I to like choose. That. But you I know, like everyone. Plates. You know, everyone's <laughs> going to be walking around Wednesday with their. Plates I know they're looking like at their plate. But it is, and actually, this is a good tip. Whenever is, you're yeah. eating like a buffet yeah. or like at a party, it's a good tip just when you're making your plate, so you know that you're not going overboard on anything. Okay. So let's try this out. Yeah, I want you guys to try to do it. So I'm going to give you each a plate. You guys okay. are actually going to make your own plates here. Okay. okay. So what are you going to put on this? on this? There's not dressing on this one. So typically, you know, you'd want to put either like a vinaigrette or something, not a creamy ranch. I'm, this heavy. is honestly what I would do. Yeah. What you would really do? Okay. Just put it on. Put it on. What you would normally do? I see some. I see a very, a very tall cookie <laughs> pile going on over there. Okay. There we go. <laughs> so, so look more at this plate, I think. Happy, plate. For, happy Fourth of July. <laughs> now, I would count this as my carbs. Yes, that is. Sugar. Yeah, exactly. So you totally can um, Sorry, because of guys, the fruits. Yeah. I know, I know. Well, she's good at this. So <laughs> this, this would be me at a party. I know. And maybe, maybe like. A few chips. Maybe. What about any like hot dog, hamburger? I What's your go-to? Well, I don't eat meat. You don't eat meat? So, so do you, you eat meat, don't you? No. Or no, you don't. Okay, so, so you're, just, you're just having stuff. I put four cookies you put on my four plate. Cookies. I'm doing this all serious. Yes, and you put four okay, sorry. this is one big tip though. The bun is typically, I would say, just don't have the bun. Like okay. that's an easy one. Just don't put the have and the bun you because have you can have the, yeah, you can have chips, you can have the pasta salad or something else. But that's just a go-to. Just get rid of it. Okay. You don't need it. And condiments. Watch that's your condiments. That's what I was going to ask you because yeah. there's yeah. a lot of sugar packed in things like ketchup, right? Yes, yeah. So I mean, just again, portion control there. Mustard is a go-to condiment because it does not have as many calories. Mm -hmm. But if you do like a ranch or like a honey mustard, what that's about a lot the, comes in. the buffalo wing sauce? That's like really good, right? Yeah. So that's lower calories. Yeah, it does have a lot of sodium in it, so okay. give and take. Tabasco but, sauce? Yes, Tabasco okay. sauce can do that. So again, just a portion control with everything and watch those condiments because yeah. they can get out of hand. What's a good substitute for the proteins at a barbecue when you don't when eat When you don't meat? eat meat, yeah. yeah. So you'd want to have something like a, a bean or even something that's going to be like a plant-based protein. Okay. So you can do like beans and rice actually combine, make a pretty good protein there. What do you guys typically have? What do you normally I do a lot to? of fish or black bean burgers. Yeah, if you do fit, yeah, if you're a pescatarian, you can definitely do the fish, black bean burgers. I love a good black bean burger. Yeah, the veggie yeah. patties. I think yeah. when you're just being careful of the veggie patties, if you can make your own, that's even better. Yeah. Because sometimes when you get them at the store, they can yes. have a lot of and stuff. And there's added so many it. easy recipes out yeah. there. Yeah. So if you can make your own, that's the best. We're and that's actually a good tip. You can actually bring a, one of the items to the, the party, mm -hmm. so you know it's a healthy item. So sure. bring your own. That's smart too. Where yeah. can people find you? Millennialnutrition.com, or I am all over Instagram on at Millennial Nutrition. Happy Fourth of July. Yes. Happy Fourth of July, everyone. He's mm -hmm. eating cookies. Mm -hmm. I'm cookies. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs>